Good morning, guys. Dobro Utra from Russia. It's like any other global city in the world, lads. It's just the Baltimore hat, and I'm putting it on right now. It's not like the Bourne Identity, folks. It's 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 another global city like any other. I never thought I would wear this hat. I bought it when I bought the Yushanka. Uh, but I, I, given the day that's in it and what's happened here in the last 24 hours, I had to take out the hat and wear it today. So, uh, yeah, it's just... What, 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 a, what a day. What a day for Russia. I, Good afternoon yourself. Uh, tell us about Ulyanovsk, John, uh, because this is something that's come onto our radar today and we're all very intrigued by this. Yeah, it's a city kind of not too far from Kazan in Russia and is where Lenin was born, of course, the revolutionary leader. And I've got contacts over here. And uh, I've been offered the freedom of the city of Ulyanovsk. How do you actually become, how do you get the freedom of a city, a massive city with 600,000 people of a population? This is no little village, John. Like, how, how do you get approached? Do you make an inquiry? I was just told that the freedom has been offered. By who? Um, but by the mayor, mayoral office. The mayor um, of the so town? The, not the actual mayor. <laughs> Uh, you know, don't don't be quizzing me. Don't be quizzing me like a uh, prime time journalist. Oh, and you know, it's not prime time. You know, you know, when the ceremony happens, you'll find out. We'll get all the information for you. We'll get you the. Well, we'll show you the, the papers that be stamped and all the ceremonial uh, scrolls and everything. So you know, let's just chill out until it happens. Well, this is a very important building behind me, lads. It's the Winter Palace in St. Petersburg. This was the residence of the monarchy in Russia. It was the capital of Russia, St. Petersburg, until the October Revolution in 1917, which happened here at the Winter Palace in St. Petersburg. Uh, we nearly had a million people uh, dying here in terms of civilians, starving, starvation, huge, huge issues. And including uh, Vladimir Putin's baby brother was one person who died. So, um, John, it yeah, just looked like Captain Jack Sparrow walked behind you. Uh, I, was, I, I was making a serious point, so I, I don't actually know what's going on behind me. <laughs> well, we're joined uh, live in the studio now by John Duggan. He's a writer from Ireland's daily sports show, uh, Off the Ball. John, thanks for joining us in the studio today. It's your first time, obviously, uh, in St. Petersburg, in Russia as well. What have your impressions so far been of the atmosphere of the country? What a beautiful city. It reminds me a bit of Paris. Of course, yeah. France here tonight against Belgium in the semi-finals of the World Cup. And the World Cup, to me, is the greatest show on earth. That's what I've always felt since I've been watching it on television as a boy and it's lived up to every expectation and Russia have been excellent hosts. That must be John Duggins on the line. A very good morning to you, John. Good morning, wow. Dave. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull out all the stops this morning, guys. This is a tube taker, which I think is a hat they, they have in Kazan here. We're now 448 miles east of Moscow uh, with the Cool Sharif Mosque behind me. John, this is our last time talking to you from uh, Moscow here on OTB AM. So your final thoughts on, uh, I guess, the trip of a lifetime. Well, thank you uh, for your support and thank you for all the, the people who sent in kind comments over the month about an amazing journey. And just final thoughts that I thought the, the host nation were, I mean, whatever about governments, I thought the people here were just uh, fantastic hosts. And having seen uh, six cities and having been to 17 games, um, it's not a Potemkin village. It's, it's a country like any other. Ordinary people are like uh, each other everywhere you go in the world. And I think what the World Cup brings is um, that beautiful meld of colour. Obviously, Qatar is a bit of an unknown in the USA, 48 teams, and, the, and, the, and the Mexico and Canada are, are far places to go, and that's a long way into the future. I wish we were here as the Republic of Ireland. I wish we'd, we'd made it. Uh, and the best memories, I mean, the memories are just of attacking football. Um, great stories. The Argentina soap opera was an amazing story. Germany being knocked out. Brazil's failure when they were expected to succeed. France being the best team overall, I would say. And really exciting games from Spain, Portugal to Belgium, Japan. Uh, and then brilliant stories from Mexico to Croatia. Uh, so just a, a magical experience one I'll never forget.